In this video we're going to look at example 7, Newton's Law of Heating. Suppose a potato initially has a temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit and an oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the formula D equals 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of T where D is the temperature difference between the oven and the potato and T is the time in minutes the potato has been in the oven. Okay, and then we'll answer these questions. What is the temperature difference after 20 minutes? What is the temperature of the potato after 20 minutes? Hmm. Okay, so the temperature difference means the difference between the oven's temperature and the potato's temperature. T is time in minutes. That's nice because we're given minutes in the question, so we can plug that number right in there. The formula is D equals 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of T. And um, so we use the formula. We have T equals 20. T is time in minutes. We have 20 minutes, so T equals 20. So the formula will be now 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of T, right, to the power of 20. And you can plug that in your calculator as a one line entry, if you like, which would look like this, 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of 20, with a little hat sign for the exponent on your calculator. Or you can do a step by step, and I'll do a step by step for anyone who doesn't have a fancy calculator. So 0 0.98 to the power of 20, is a big long number. Why don't we use write down lots of it anyway? Zero point six six seven six zero. How about that? Um, oh, that'll probably be enough because there's a zero after that. Well, we'll put in a one there. How about that? So four hundred times this, and even better if possible on your calculator. If you at least if you get that number, if you could just right away hit multiply by, and it'll multiply this long number by the next number we want which is 400 you see so it means you don't have to type it all out again okay so we get that and I'm gonna round it to the nearest degree this is 22 oh, so, okay so what we get is 267.043 blah 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 please round that to the nearest whole number two hundred and sixty seven degrees Fahrenheit right now please explain to me what that temperature is referring to. What does that temperature mean? And by all means, read the press pause and go and read the example in the book because you might not read my writing as well as you read it in the book. And I may not have explained it as well. So there might be an example on your homework like this. So if you could read that, that would help. If not, no, don't worry about it. Okay, so basically we've calculated difference. D is what we just calculated. Temperature difference. So temperature difference is this. 267 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting. But that's the difference between the temperature of the oven and the temperature of the potato. So the question is, what is the temperature of the potato now after 20 minutes? Press pause and try it. I can see at least one way where you would mess this up. It's not exactly a trick question. It's just, you just gotta think about it for a, for a second. It's 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 not a hard calculation. It's just okay. So the temperature the the potato began at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Does that make sense? Is the potato's temperature going to change when you put it in the oven? It'll change. What's it, what's going to happen to the temperatures to the temperature of the potato? It's going to increase, right? How about the oven? Is the temperature of the oven going to change, or is it going to stay at 450 degrees Fahrenheit? Do temperatures in ovens change? Do they go down? Not unless you turn them down, right? So after 20 minutes, we know that the oven 
the oven's temperature is definitely 450 degrees. Agreed? We know that the difference between the potato and the oven is what? Just calculated it. 267. So if you take the oven's temperature and subtract the difference, what will you be left with? Now remember the potato's temperature is not going to stay at 50, is it? It's going to increase, right? So if you subtract these guys, you get um, you get 180 degrees, 83 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, right? So this is the potato's temperature. It's 183 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature of the potato, right? So please um, press pause and repeat this example real quick for a temperature difference of see what happens to, to the potato after 40 minutes in the oven. So I want you to figure out the temperature difference after 40 minutes and then the temperature of the potato after 40 minutes. So please press pause and do that, then I'll do it. Okay. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to do it really quickly now. So in this example we have our formula D equals 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of T. So that's 400 times 0 0.98 to the power of now t equals 40 minutes so to the power of 40 and when we calculate that we should get uh, something like 178.28 etc and we'll round that to 178 degrees Fahrenheit so this was the difference, we just calculated the difference between the oven's temperature and the potato's temperature after 40 minutes. So now, what's the temperature of the potato after 40 minutes? You take the temperature of the oven, you subtract the difference, right? And you should have the temperature of the potato. Does that make sense? So the oven's temperature is what? Well, it has to stay at 450, right? So your oven's temperature is 450. The difference is what? 178, so you just subtract them, right? So the potato's temperature should be 272 degrees Fahrenheit. After 40 minutes. 